Hello again everyone and I hope you're having a good day and staying safe uh, with this ha uh, pandemic happening around us. So I'm here again for another lesson for engineering economy which is principle of discounting. This is actually one of the easiest um, lesson of engineering economy. Uh, without further ado, let's go into the lesson. So we have here the principle of discounting. So this is quite confusing with the uh, and uh, symbols that we will use okay so what we will have we only have here at uh, three formulas and from these three formulas we can derive more formulas but basically i only use these three formulas and just and i will just derive the other formulas so i will have i won't have to memorize uh, a lot of formulas so that's what i do so i am more on uh, deriving formulas than memorizing because obviously, uh, um, deriving formulas is for long-term memory, and and memorizing is just a short term. So I'm not that good in memorizing. So I always derive. It's time-consuming, but at least I am sure with the with my formulas. Okay, so we have uh, three formulas as you can see. Okay, so we have uh, d equal to f d d equal to pi and d equal to f minus p okay so the capital d will be the discount p will be the present worth f will be your future worth and i will be your interest rate and small d will be your discount rate so take note that capital d p and f the discount present and future worth are all must be a money okay that is an amount of money while interest rate and discount rate are must be in percent page okay so remember that so let's try to derive more formulas from these formulas okay so as you can see we can say that one and two are equal right because d is equal to fd and d is equal to pi so basically these two are equal right so we can say that one is equal to so from that uh, equation, so you'll have uh, d equal d, right? And then next you'll have uh, the first formula, the d here will be equal to f d, and next one will be equal to p i. Okay. There we go. And then uh, next, remember your compound interest uh, formula, right? So if, if uh, you will remember, we will remember that formula. We can have the compound interest is equal to F is equal to P times 1 plus I, right? F equal to P 1 plus I. Now, originally we have here Y raised to N, uh, Y raised to N, right? Sorry, raise uh, P times 1 plus I raised to YN. Now, if you will consider that Y and N are just equal to 1, because the discount the discount only happens right away, right? It doesn't last for a year long or for 2 years or for 3 years. So, we can just make um, Y equal to 1 and N equal to 1, okay? So, considering that Y and N is equal to 1, you will have this formula, okay? So, let's just replace F f here with this okay therefore you will have what i'll have here p f will be uh, p times one plus i so this is one plus i this will be your f don't forget the t or the small d that that is the discount rate times p i right as you can see we have common uh, uh common terms that we can cancel we can now cancel out this p and this p okay then you will uh left with um one plus i raised to uh times d equal to i now if i will isolate uh d you'll have here d equal to this one plus i will go down right so this is equal to a one i over all over one plus i so we were able to have or derive a formula relationship of the discount rate and interest rate. So what if uh, we are looking for the interest rate? 
uh, given the discount rate. So all you have to do is just across multiply this one, okay? So from the, uh, from this one, okay? Okay. So from this one, from this part, again, I'll just write it down again. So one plus i d equal to i. If I will uh, distribute d, I will have here d plus i d equal to i, right? Okay, and then I will transpose id. Transpose id, you'll have d equal to i minus id. Of course, it will become negative. Now, um, factoring out i, you'll have d equal to factor out i, have i equal to 1 minus d. Okay, and then I can now um, uh, put one, 1 minus d as a denominator of d, right? So I will have, I will left here with i. I will just first write it down. The i now will be equal to d all over 1 minus d. And then this will be your another relationship of i and d, or the interest rate and discount rate. So that is pretty much what you have, uh, you need to know with uh, principle of discounting. So I think we can now move on with uh, sample problems. Okay, so moving on to the sample problems. Okay, so we have here our uh, first two problems. So these are just easy problems. I told you that uh, this is one of the easiest uh, lesson in engineering economy. So this is just direct substitution. So we have a discount rate given and we are, comp number one, a 5% discount rate is given. So compute for the interest. All right, so we already have a formula for that. Uh, I was able to uh, derive the formula. So I won't be, I won't bother uh, writing the given solution anything. Uh, this is just direct substitution, right? So we can have, we are looking for i. So we can have i is just equal to a d, 1 minus d, right? And then this is just equal to, remember that do not, uh, you have to convert the percentage or the discount rate into a decimal before putting it down here. So that is 5%, so this will become 0 0.05 all over 1 minus 0 0.05. Ah, sorry. This is 5. Okay, so let's try to solve it. This one, so 0 0.05. So uh, multiplying the answer by 100, you'll have here 5.2632%. So this will be your answer. It's just direct substitution. Okay, so let's go to number two. For number two, an interest rate of 7% is given. So compute for the discount rate. So now the given is interest rate and we're looking for the discount rate. So we already have a formula again for that. That is uh, D I 1 plus I. This is now equal to, again, I must be in decimal. So I is 7%. So this is 0 0.07 all over 1 plus 0 0.07. Okay, so trying to compute for that. So that is 6.54. 6.54. Five four two one. Yeah, percent. So this is how easy to find the uh, discount and interest rate. So it's just direct substitution. So let's go for another uh, set of problems. Alright, so doing for doing the problem number three, we have a future worth of five thousand has has a discount rate of six percent. So how much is the discount so for number three let's just put the givens first okay so we have the given okay so we have the given future worth so we have f equal to um, five thousand and then a discount rate so that must be a small d equal to six percent so we're looking for um, 
We are required now, required to find a uh, big capital D. Okay, so this must be in pesos. Okay. Alright, so going for the solution. Okay, so for the solution, this is just again um, direct uh, direct substitution. We can use formula number one. Okay, so that's discount is equal to FD. So this will be equal to um, 5,000 times, again, that must be in decimal, so 0 0.06. So this is 5,000 times 0 0.06. That's 300. So this is just equal to, the discount is just 300. Okay. So let's go for, I think I can type the solution since the solution is quite um, simple. So going for number 4, let's first put down all the given. So a present worth of 3,000 with an interest rate of 6%. So how much is the discount? So we have a present worth, which is P, must be equal to 3,000 and interest rate, that small i, equal to uh, 6% also. 6%. Okay, so we are now uh, required to find we are now required to find um, the discount again. So we are required to find this one. Okay. okay. So for the solution, this is simply again, we can use the formula number 2. Okay. So that is solution D must be equal to P times I. So D must be equal, um, P is 3,000. So this is 3,000 times, again, it must be in decimal, 0 0.06. And then D is just simply 180. So this is 180 pesos. So this will be your answer. Okay, right, so let's go for number 5. Okay, so for number five, let's put down all the givens first again. So a money, a money today is four thousand. So if the discount rate is seven percent, how much is the future worth? Okay, so a money today is four thousand. A money today. The keyword there is today. So the four thousand must be your present worth. Okay, so this is um four thousand, and we have a given of discount rate. So d, the small d equal to seven. Now we are required to find what? Future worth. Okay, so F. Okay, so what will be the solution? So for the solution, we have given P and um, D. Okay, so, so finding the F, we are we we know that. Finding F first, we have a given P and D. Okay, so we can uh, find first, we have a given discount rate, but we have, uh, we have a formula for the relationship of discount rate and interest rate. Okay, so we can use that. So using that, we'll have, okay, so we can have I now will be equal to that's D, 1 minus D, right? So this will become um, 0 0.07 all over 1 minus 0 0.07. So this is equal to 0 0.07, 1 minus 0 0.07. So this is 7.5264. Six nine percent. Now we have a given I and D, so we can now let's try to solve for F, or we can use the third formula. Okay, so using the third formula, you'll have D equal to F minus P, right? So we are looking for F, but we already have a value of P, and this one is still missing. But we can uh, find the value of D. So we can use the formula number 2. D is just simply equal to P 
times i. So this is um, p times i, that is just uh, 4,000 times the value of i, which is the 7.52. So that is 0 0.07. 5, 2, 6, 9. So this is simply equal to this is 301. So 301.076. Oops. So this will be the D. And then we can now find P. So rearranging this one. So at we can now um, transpose P. You'll have F is just equal to D plus P. Okay. So we have the value of D which is of 301.076. Plus, now the value of P is just 4,000. So, you don't need a calculator for this one. All you have to do is to add these two and you'll have the right answer. So, this is just 4,301.076. So, this is the value of So, as I said, uh, principle of discount is one of the simplest and easiest uh, lesson for engineering economy so that's it for this video and thank you for all who support me and if i i really hope that i was able to help you with this lesson and for the future lesson the fast lesson so if you haven't already click the subscribe button and click also the bell notification so that you'll be updated or notified whenever i upload a new one so if you have any recommendation for the next videos feel free to comment down below if you have any question for and for these videos feel free to comment down below and then that's it for this video and i hope you're having a great day and i'll see you on the next one bye bye